Hey guys, welcome back to The Bass Tutor. My name is Tyler Fry and I'm The Bass Tutor. So guys, today I've got a video specifically for you folks that love fishing with wind grips. So let's jump on into it. So since wind grips really started becoming popular back about five years ago or so in the fishing industry, I found myself all the time finding these grips to start getting really dirty really easy. Uh, a lot of these grips that come out white or green or different colors, but you can always start to see black on them. And a lot of people don't want that black on their grips. It just makes their stuff look junky or old or whatever the case may be. They just don't like it. It just makes it dirty. But... I've got a way that you can make these grips super tacky again and clean them and make them look really good. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you want to get yourself an old wash rag and go and run it under some hot water for a little bit. It doesn't have to be extremely hot water. Don't scald yourself. Just get you some warm water. Wring it out really good. Next, you're going to want to take some Dawn dish washing liquid. Uh, if it'll help the ducks, it's going to help us. Pour you a little bit on there. We're going to rub it around on our towel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our grips and we're just going to lather this thing up with soap. Just spin it on there. All right, so you all saw how dark that thing used to be. Now it's back to its original color. I mean, that if that's not the original color, it's almost spot on. You can tell the difference right here between the hand grip and this bottom grip down here as to the difference in the color. So now we'll go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and rub this bottom handle as well. You can usually do this for maybe like 30 seconds or something and it'll get it super clean. You can do it longer if you choose to, or just whatever you prefer. You can check it out as you go and see if it's clean. So now you can see right there, that wash rag used to be white. And that's why I done this, was to show you guys how much that will honestly bring off there. So what we'll do, we're, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this other side right quick and I'm gonna get off any excess that may be on there. So pour a little bit more dishwashing liquid on there. Rub it in again. And now we're gonna make sure these things are super clean. And this will make this rod look almost back to brand new. I mean, if not right there at it, it'll be close. So we'll go ahead, rub it around on both sides of it. And usually while I'm doing this, I, go, I like to go ahead and clean off my rod. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead, disconnect this, uh, Real connector right here, the real seat. You just spin it and it'll pull right off there. And then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and spin it around where our reel is. Clean that area up. Go ahead and clean right here where the uh, reel actually goes in. Connect the, uh, clean the connectors. Then we'll go ahead and connect it back. And then you can go ahead and clean your rod blank as well. And make sure to clean your guides. You always want to have super clean guides before you go fishing and after you fish. Because a lot of the times you'll get dirt and debris and you may even chip a guide and not even know it. And the next thing you know, your line is frayed up and you don't know why. So always check your guides. Make sure to clean them really good. And we'll go ahead and clean this blank. So 
now we've got our rod looking just practically back to brand new. Now this is going to be super, super tacky still. That dishwashing liquid's not going to take away any of the stickiness of it. And so you'll be able to do this. And anytime this rod gets dirty, just rub some dishwashing liquid on it, just like I did. And you'll have it looking back to brand new. You can tell right here on this wash rag that that done some cleaning on it. I mean, this thing was pretty filthy. And now it's, it's back to looking pretty good. So guys, if you liked what you saw today in today's video, make sure to share it on your Facebook, your Instagram, share it with your mom, your dad, your grandma, whoever fishes in your family. Make sure to share it and hopefully they'll learn something as well. And also, if you haven't, make sure you go follow the Bass Tutor on Instagram and Real Big Fish Apparel. Whenever I hit 5,000 followers on the Bass Tutor, we're going to give away a pretty cool little giveaway. So make sure that you're following so you can see the new giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you're able to get out there and wet a line. We'll see you guys later.